I'm gonna pull the same joke as last time and say that algorithms are not fun. So here's the code again, just insert your array here. Technically, as always, you can remove the static and then you also have to remove this setting and this setting and so and you can remove the main method, but that's just tiny things, you know. Like technically all you have to do in order to make a merge sort is just this. The rest is just for us to test if everything works correctly. So, as last time I have proclaimed, I will follow this advice again. This is just the same, seriously the same. It's, it'll always be the same if you want to test an array. You just print every little part of the array. The special speciality of merge sort is that it pretty much pretty much cuts the array up into tiny little pieces and then in the end it puts everything together. So as you can see, we just the first thing we do is just we take the array, split it into a first part and a second part and so we can understand it better. Um, the print lines will be here that uh, the first part is just, you know, we'll first print the first part and the second part. And then we will do the sort method with the first uh, array again. So this method pretty much calls itself until you have cut this thing up so often that you only have one element. Which is also why the uh, if list length uh, smaller or equals one is the first thing you will see here. Without this, it's just gonna be a continuous infinite loop, and we don't want that. So you then cut the uh, first part up into a first and second part, and then you have the first part and the second part of the first uh, first part. And then you just go with the first second part and, you know, as I said, you just repeat this until you have everything cut up and then you just have a nice and tidy little merge sort uh, algorithm. Again, I highly doubt that you will need it. Um, here's the pseudocode of the merge sort um, algorithm. And yeah, it's just the same thing as I just mentioned. Also, I didn't mention it, this thing is in my GitHub repository and that thing is in the doobly-doo.